Good morning guys, welcome back to another episode. So today, we're going back out to on-song performance. We're gonna do rods, pistons in the motor. Then we're gonna start working on the head because we've got to drill into the head, do a 3 8 MPT um, fitting to a dash 690 that goes to the factory or relocation. So today we're gonna to get into that. Hope you guys enjoy. It's now 7.30, I'm gonna go stop, get some breakfast, go drive out to Onsong, see Max and Rex, let's get it. Ah, it's shit when you come out and it's raining, but look at the steed. Steed's happy to be driven. I'm gonna have to get a new set of tires, so you know they're a bit, there you go. The old trusty Nankang's on the frame, I'm gonna let no one down. All right. All righty, all Let's get into this. I suppose we'll fire the beast up. Oh, it loves life. All right, so we're back out here today, guys. Got the, the merch happening from old on song performance. Got myself one of these caps. Fucking cool, those. The mustache growing. We're going to be growing a mustache for the page just because, you know, if you drive a Corolla, you need a mustache because when you have a hairdresser's car that's sort of fast, you need to have it just for street rep, you know. So, um, actually, no. Nah. So, in all seriousness, today we're going to be out doing more stuff to the engine. So, pretty much got everything done, crank in. Um, this is as it sits at the moment. Um, I just had to go uh, with Max to run some errands and buy some stuff and we've got this hat, so it's pretty cool. And yeah, everything's in there, turning sweet. So, paint's turning awesome. So, pretty good um, clearancing on everything. So, um, super keen, super keen for all this. Um, I'll show you, this is the rods, piston setup, all there. So. Uh, part performance pistons and rods. So I actually got some good information on these. So I actually spoke to um, uh, the owner because I, I called up uh, Punter Engineering in New South Wales and uh, he assured me that these would be good for around 200 horsepower per cylinder so would be safe. But we're not gonna be going anywhere near that. What I'm shooting for maybe, we'll see what it makes on the day. You know, I'm hoping for around 300 to 400-ish. We'll see, whatever it does, it does. It doesn't bother me. So today we'll get into it, we'll see where we get to. We're not too fussed on what happens, just getting it to a baseline where it's like, you know, just chipping away at it because realistically, it doesn't bother me how long it takes because this stuff is awesome. It, it doesn't, I, I don't want it to be like a yeah, 10 minute learn thing or just get them to put it together. I want to learn in depth. All right, so this is where we were sort of left off, got the crank in and everything. Um, we've already done clearancing on all of these, so now we're going to assemble um, said pistons, uh, rods, oh, they're already assembled, sorry, uh, rings onto the pistons. We're gonna go through that, so Max is gonna show me one, and then I suppose I'll do the other three, and then, yeah, I'll get him to video that, and it'll be all sick and dope sick. Dot to the top. Dot to the top. So I'll put these on, yep, what? 5, 4.30, 5 o'clock. 4.30, 5 o'clock. Yeah, basically 4 o'clock. And then um, you put the top ring on at about 2 o'clock. Yeah. So you basically, you're just trying to make sure that none of your ring gaps are lined up. Yeah. They're going to be opposing as it goes in. Um, obviously your rings will move around once your motor's running. But yeah. yeah. So this is generally... This is literally all in the instructions that came with the rings as well yeah yeah you, so you read them they'll find yeah you'll find the exact same thing in there. that's the destructions the destructions of the ring manufacturer yep the ring manufacturer states that that's so how they should stuck, be read the destructions yeah if you get stuck don't do what josh would do and read the instructions either or either or okay so doesn't matter which one's first yep but don't put them at the dot, mate. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. So, yeah, that end goes to the dot. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Window. We'll make sure I got that at the dot. On the dot. Yeah. Oh, this one I'm a little nervous about doing. I'm working his way around. See. Yeah, I'll put 
pick it up and pull it. Oh, well, yeah, man. But, ah, fuck. All right, now I get what you mean, so. Fuck. How did I manage that? What have you done, sir? Done a sir backwards a lot. And I've got to get him at the, on the bottom groove. i got him on the Cooked top. Cooked up. Fuck it, done. Fuck. Cooked it. All in the bin. Let's get a new engine. Get a new engine. Oh, there we go. Alright, so one there. I'll make sure I. I'm gonna have to spin them. That's a. I made it a bit difficult on me, so that's the way out. There we go, that one there. Let me turn this. I'll make sure that joins at the dot. Yep, joins at the dot. That's there. And then this side. Shall I go here? Put that there. So you can go in up top. Work his way around. I don't even know why I'm talking. Yeah, so what we're doing here is I'm learning. You never stop talking. Yeah, it never, never does. But that's yeah, you stuck in the top ring groover in the back here, mate. Fuck me. Oh, sorry. You jumped the gun. Ah! Oh. You jumped the gun and tried to get the other end in already. You meant to work it around should've, from one end to the next. Should have spat on it. Alright, so once You didn't warm it up first. <laughs> tried to go and dry. It doesn't work that way, mate. <laughs> right, there we go. You need to give it a tickle first. There, there you go. Now, now that one's there. Yeah. Put you there. Right. Um, Beautiful. Right, I'll make sure. I'll get you to have a quick look just to make sure that that's in the right spot because I don't want to fuck yeah, that up. That good? Yeah, that's perfect. All right, perfect. Perfect, mate. All right, now we'll get the second ring. Second ring. Give him a clean there, a bit, yeah, a bit yeah. filthy. Just get, get the old sniff there and just fucking give you your old yeah. bit of spray sniff. Spray and sniff. And yeah. then just give it a wipe with the coffee filter. Uh, new one? Oh yeah, if you want. Yeah, yeah, one. Yeah, okay. new one. Yeah. Hey, that's a nice hat. It is actually a very nice hat, so fuck. That's not usable anymore. Nah, in the bin. In the bin. This is a nice hat. It's very Mate, nice. You know how much those cost? Free for guys like me, but no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is very UV protectant. Um, not merch, any but on song performance hats, you know, buying in their store. Um, these are actually really good for the back of your neck. If you do want a jersey swing someone, you put the hat on them, grab the um, you know, it's awesome in all aspects of life, guys. Those hats aren't available in our shop, though. Yeah, yeah that, oh, aren't they? Nah, they're only a special order item, mate. Oh, special. Very limited edition, they never even made it to the shop. Yeah, so people like me get them, and you guys don't, because you're not cool. Uh, <laughs> dot to the top. Dot to the top, mate. Okay, dot to the top. Get dot to dot to the top. Get your ring pliers. Yeah. Oh, they're going like stuff. So. No? No. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. 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 That's it, that's it, yep, uh, that's him, boss. Now, I believe this one will go... Yep, pretty much exactly where you got it there. Yep, all right. perfect, down in that second ring groove. Second, uh, this one here? That's him, ooh, 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 ooh. Sorry, didn't get him quite that's in. That's all right, mate, he's most of the way there, just a little bit of help. There you go, a little bit of, little bit of guidance from the chair. No, you're in the wrong groove. Oh, fuck, I am You got down one, mate. Down. Oh, yep. Ah, all right, mate, I'll have to... Working by hand because yeah, yep. Josh made a bit of a doo doo. That is okay. I can't know. believe you've done this. <laughs> can't believe you've done this. Yeah, I got, oh, that's right, because you got to work them around. So, that one, yeah. in there, and then in you go. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. All, All right. right, so about there. Right, top ring. All right, top ring. Oh, and then this one is, I'll give it a wipe down as well. This one. These are a square ring, so it doesn't really matter which way, but um, it's No ways up, no ways down, mate. Yeah, nose beers is nose beers at the end of it. And that one we want around. Yep. yep. All right, and we want that one in the top ring groove. Come on, that's him, mate. That's oh, him. That's, him. that's him, huh? Ready to go, mate. Oh. One more person to go. On to the next one. So. On to the next one. On, on to the next, and that one to the top. Yeah, mate. Rinse and repeat. At the dot. All right, guys. And now we've got one full set of assembled rings, pistons, rods. All of it is there ready to go for this little forged beast. So we're going to get this in in a second. Max is just finding a uh, thickened thing to go on here and go in there. Yep, so it's all capsulated in the ratchet device. It's a ring compressor tool for anyone that obviously watched the last part. Like, oh, it's Josh. Why would you call me one time after the other? Get the oil, what the hell? Wow. That was nifty. 
I think you just pulled that off, dude. Right, you definitely got that. Come on, uh, are you new here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Put a big goop of that on. Always oh. pays to goop it. You don't need a big goop. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. A, just, a just, just enough to make it lubricated. Just a bit of a Almost like it's just <laughs> spat on it you know, with them. <laughs> Right. Yeah, put it on Josh's shit. Move your box of trash, mate. Move your box of parts and shit. Ooh. 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 Ooh, it's ready. It's almost ready. Yeah, for anyone that isn't on, this is the first time a piston has been inside this cylinder for a while. She's a bit mm. tight, I can tell you that. Just like it should be. Nice and tight, you know, we like things tight. She's on. Bag spinning the rotating assembly first time once it's done. Pinky swear it happens. <laughs> no, that one went in all Gucci. So look, uh, give you guys the give you guys the upskirt. <laughs> Max is giving her oiling. That's where he usually liked his oiling. But no. Um, Yeah, so these are the new main caps we're going to install on the head because it's going to make more power if you got main caps in your head. Works better. Off. Nah, but in all seriousness, at the moment, he is just uh, compressing or oh, using the ring compressor tool. So they've got this nifty little bench, which I assume gives you the right length. So that way you can square the, uh, the piston inside the cylinder and then what are you talking about? Smack that down. I don't know. I'm just uh, sort of <laughs> stating facts that I think may work. Nah, no, so I think the way Max is doing it is um, you got to make sure it's square. So he'll run me through that afterwards. So but what I'll do is just leave a little bit of the skirt out. Yeah. So. It just allows you to actually get the skirt just in the ball. Yes. Yeah. This tool actually has, see, it's got these little, little divots. So yeah. they catch on the top of the deck. Okay. So what we actually have for most engines, we have ready made tapered ones. Yeah, so makes, makes this process way quicker and easier and more precise. Yeah, so this one's so actually tapered from the from the top. If you look from the top side. Yep. From, from the top of the oh, bottom. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yep. They're actually tapered. Yeah. And um, we've got them in a few different ball sizes of engines that we normally build. Yeah, so because they don't normally do four AGs. No. Yeah, no. they haven't done a God's motor yet, so. No, no, this is actually the first time we're doing a four AG. Yeah. So first time. Josh we're... is teaching us as. Yeah, as we go. So. As we go and as we teach Josh yeah. general. Engine building practice, Josh yeah. teaching us 4A yeah. nonsense. I'm teaching him about 4A platform, but as he just doesn't understand God's motor stuff yet, but he will. He's going to church every Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm very, very excited. Like, this means this is insane for me. Like, it's crazy to think it is, it's just nuts. Absolutely nuts. Alright guys, so we got the first one torque to 55, which gives us just under 5 thou of stretch, which is our specification of the clearancing that we want, as far as I know. And then now we're about to just go through, obviously lubricating the uh, bolts that we use, because Max, we use the Compstar stuff here, so extreme pressure lube. Oliver. Oh, Oliver, sorry, yep, that's the one. 
It's not made by Oliver, yeah. it's just the lubrication that all the lubricants that Oliver recommend to use with their rods. Just like that, on his lips and stuff, he loves them. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this is the stuff that we're using for the, the uh, rod, bolts. rod bolts. So um, I'm not too sure how we do it. Do we just put a line down? Just put, it's the same as like a, a uh, head stud. So you put yeah. a fair yeah. bit on the actual thread and then yeah. you put a little bit underneath the head of the bolt yep. between the head and the washer. Yep, okay. And the washer goes on dry like okay. it. Yeah, same yeah. as everything else. No worries. Really. We'll get to that now. Tell you what, these hats are real good in the sun. Definitely get yourself one. Right, righto, so we just check the bolt length with the stretch gauge. Yeah, we're just going to talk. Josh is talking him up. Like always, talking him up. So when we actually did the bearing clearances on the rods, we worked out at what torque specification we got the stretch we wanted at that point. Yeah and documented it, which makes it easier this time around because we just do them straight to that specification. Yep. Whack the stretch gauge back on, and boom. Just a smidge under five there. So Perfect, bang on. Big happy day. Happy days, and we just rinse and repeat that for all of them. Yeah, so all the good fun, all the good you juice for that. Yep, all it. Now Max is gonna do this one. Get him sorted. Get it. All right. Just get on the mat. Get on with that, please. Man. All right. Back again. Same, same. Should be the exact same. Just nice. Yeah, we just get him in there. Off we go. And another. Oosh. There we go. What do we got, eh? Lit the dupe skin. Same thing. Just a smidge yeah. under five there. Bloody perfect, mate. That's what we want. Now we can Huzzah. turn the engine, um, turn them over, 180 degrees. Yeah. Turn the crank 180 degrees, turn the engine 180 degrees, and put the other two in, mate. Yep. So. All right, guys. So um, I'm gonna just yeah. So at the, <laughs> the main issue we're dealing with is at the moment. I'll, I'll zoom in and get a bit closer, but we are our rods are that staunch, you know, big dick things. Um, they're actually, I can't get a good view, but they're connecting with the side of the block here. So, right we'll get, at the base of the yeah, bore. Right at the, the base block. of the bore. So, it's a bit of clearancing issues. Yeah, so, um, Max said it's usually the case with strokers. Obviously, this yeah. isn't a stroker. Always but, the case with stroker engines. There's always some clearancing around these areas with strokers. This is the first time I've ever built an engine with a stock stroke crank that I've needed the clearance. Yeah. The bottom of the bore, so. So That's first. It's just a definition of uh, like. Just be God's motor things, then, is it? Yes. So this is actually a God's motor. People don't realise it, but God intended for this to happen right now. <laughs> so um, we now, at least, like, as I said, I'm not mad because it's on its way. Everything else is done. We've just got to pull it apart and do that again, which is like yeah. it's going to be another weekend job. But so we've got to pull the crank back out and clear yeah. it to the bottom of the balls there. Yeah. Um, but obviously need clearance. In comparison, I'll get you guys a photo. I'll get you guys a photo, but oh, we should have the standard stuff here, shouldn't we? Should we? I think so. I don't know. I don't know if you haven't brought it back out. Um, What's the standard stuff going back? I think so, but if you have a look at that rod, like it's a fucking chunky dog. Like it's it's amazing. Because you never sent any of the rods and pistons out here. Yeah. You only sent the block with the crank in it because you couldn't get the. Oil oh yes, the yes, yeah. Well, I I have the stand. Oh, I know, I know where the standard stuff is. I'm going to pick that up in a couple of weeks, because I didn't actually tell Max, but I got another four A. So yeah, 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 the guy that I sold it to doesn't want it anymore, so he's given it back to me for a really, really cheap price. I think I'm probably end up like fifty bucks. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, blood money for that. But um, yeah. So for now, this is where we're at. So. Um, yeah, it's a bit sucky, you know, suck eggs, but in it's saying that, time. yeah, it's, it is. it's more time and unfortunately, you know, it is what it is, but I'm sort of glad in a way because... I love when we build strokers, we'll put them together three, four times and yeah. they actually go together properly, so... Exactly. It's so just one of those things. At least now we know it's, it's yeah, it's unfortunate, but it's sick at the same time because now I can say, oh, I had to ground me, had to, you know... Then the thing is, because these are such a deep skirt block... Yeah. Um, like, a, like a tall skirt, it's going to be really hard to actually get in there and measure the clearance when we start to clearance it out. Yeah. Because normally you like you get a feeler gauge in. Normally with blocks, the deck, the skirt isn't so tall. Yeah. Like usually if it's level with actual the main webbing, it's a lot easier yeah. to get a feeler gauge in there and see and feel. Yeah. But uh, this is going to be a bit of a challenge, but that's all right. Yeah. So we'll. <laughs> like I said, first time for everything. We'll dig it's in. God's it. motor stuff. Yep. God's motor. Well, usually people say SRs are God's motor, but. 
Nobody likes SRs though. Yeah, nobody likes SRs. Just simply because, you know, I'm not an SR fan, but you know, this is an SR killer right here, hey? No, nah, nah. In all in all seriousness, it's it is what it is. We're gonna deal with it in the best way possible. Kill an SR and have enough left over for your motorbike, mate. Yeah, exactly. Kill an SR and then we can Enough just... CC is left over for your motorbike. Yeah. Then we can just we're just gonna Yeah. Oh, all I can say is yeah. 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 Yeah, doggy. Yeah.